Hi friends, uh, good evening, welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So I am Anju here and I welcome you all for my YouTube channel. So today I am going to discuss with you about the real time project scenario related to insurance domain. Okay, so here we are discussing insurance domain ETL project completely based on real time scenario. Okay, so uh, before starting the video, uh, my kind request is if you are not subscribed to SQL Master, kindly subscribe to SQL Master YouTube channel. So you'll be going to get more videos on ETL testing, projects, ETL testing, Informatica and SQL Oracle. Okay, so let us start the video here. So I made some slides projects here so I can show you. So first thing, most important live project scenarios. Okay, as we have understanding of all the modules required for ETL testing, uh, that is data warehouse, Unix, SQL, ETL concepts. Now it's time to integrate the knowledge gained so far and share some hands on from the real project scenarios. So, project one that is domain is insurance process. Suppose the process is divided into various releases that is, one release is equal to two minus three weeks. So, for a year and each release has a release date, both development and testing are carried out release wise and there are separate environments for both. Development is carried out in a dev environment and testing is carried out in test environment. Just prior to every release, data is moved from dev to test environment and testing begins for the release. Okay. So, what all the uh, roles of ETL tester here? So, the role of uh, ETL tester that is testing strategies and approach varies uh, from project to project and organization to organization. In general, the for the loading data from source to target mappings are created. Uh, for each mapping test cases are designed to test the which uh, are created and uh, tested by ETL testers. Suppose in our case, the ETL tester is assigned two mappings, uh, one for the moving data from source to staging database, which is a direct dump and second mapping is for uh, moving data from staging to database, that is to data warehouse. So uh, after data is loaded into data warehouse, it is uh, truncated or deleted from staging area is called as truncate and load. So the test data is dummy data, but it is uh, similar to production data. Okay. So requirements are first one is first requirement is to dump the data from source to staging database. That is a staging table name is equal to policy and details underscore source. Uh, this will be a direct load and will not involve much transformations. The data includes policy details. And the second requirement is to load the data from a uh, table underscore poll and details uh, to table underscore poll and details underscore t. So if the policy is renewed, then uh, its effective uh, date should be updated. Whenever effective date is updated, the existing value in current effective date should not should move to the previous effective date, and it should uh, be updated with uh, new effective date. So with reference to the zip code, the state should be picked up from the lookup table. Uh, underscore state details while uh, loading date uh, state into the target table the state should be decoded to full name if policy is terminated its status should change from active to terminated the developer develops a source target mapping document that is stmp uh, containing the details of mappings and the process this uh, smtp uh, stmp document is transferred to testers the tester refers to the source target mapping document, checks the target table in the database and prepare the test cases covering all the possible scenarios. So for example, you can see here the source target mapping document. This is like STM document. So here uh, on the left top, it's mentioned ORV that is a target table Oracle source table is also from Oracle database. Other sources that is incremental load, incremental load frequency extract to be uh, ran nightly. So column by column mapping. So first entities are here, source entity, source column, source column data type, business logic, target entity, target column, target column data type. So you can see here one by one, table underscore poll and details underscore source. These are the source entity names and the source column names that is customer ID, policy number, policy type, zip code, status and current effective date state. And the source column data type is varchar number, varchar depend on, on the requirement. Okay, you can just, uh, uh, you have the data types in STM documents. So what all the business logic we have to apply. So already the developers loaded data into the data warehouse. 
so we can test those data are loaded perfectly or not with the proper business logic so okay business logics are like uh, straight load straight load and straight load and the state name should be picked from the table underscore data details state details with reference to zip code and should be loaded into decoded form so this is the one business logic and status could be active or terminated a straight load and lookup table from where the state will be picked based on the zip code from table underscore poll and details underscore source so these all are called as the examples of like business logics okay you have to apply these business logics only for this particular project and verify the uh, data is uh, successfully loaded from source to target so then target entity that is these are the target entities and uh, these are the target columns that is customer id policy number policy types in target tables and the target column data type these are the data types in target uh, tables okay so and source and target table structures so this is what called as source table okay so source table so customer id column policy number and the status is active and the uh, last two is terminated and the current effective dates and the zip codes and uh, upload date okay so and this table is called as uh, this one is like a lookup table okay so that is containing only zip code and state and the this table is called as target table that is having uh, the surrogate key which is a uh, key automatically generated uh, during etl process to have unique records here okay so this is not uh, related to any of the business matters so it's just uh, to maintain the unique key records in target database so customer ids policy number and status is here and previous uh, effective date current effective date and states and uh, etl precedent date so these are the some examples of the uh, table source table and uh, lookup table and the target tables and the business logics how you can apply the business logics already uh, mentioned in the stm documents based on that you have to prepare for the test cases and the apply the business logics and verify whether the data is loaded from source to target properly or not so this is what the friends uh, what i made here uh, some of the uh, real project scenario of etl testing okay so hope uh, you understood the concept clearly about this etl's uh, real time project scenario so you will get more idea here so if you like this video really like it and uh, if you're not subscribed to sql master kindly subscribe to sql master youtube channel so that's really help for me to make more and more videos regarding etl testing projects so thanks for watching the video thank you very much and uh, bye bye have a nice day take care friends